Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my bathroom. So today we are going to do another skincare video. And today we are starting with a review of the Alaya skincare range. And we'll be reviewing the Supercharged Skincare Bundle. So this includes the Australian Pink Clay Mask, the Pomegranate Facial Scrub Exfoliator, the Australian Native Berries Moisturiser, the Foaming Micellar Cleanser, the Supercharged Vitamin C Serum, and also the Pink Bamboo Face Towel. So I've been using these products for a few weeks now. As with most products that I get, I kind of want to try them out before I give like a full review. So I'm basically just going to do a demo and let you know my thoughts on each product. So if you want to know more about Alaya Skin and their Supercharged Bundle, then just keep on watching. At the moment, I don't have anything on my skin. I've got a little bit of fake tan that I have washed off. So my skin type, I would say is kind of normal to oily, but it is also acne prone. So I do normally just get acne um, or hormonal breakouts around my mouth and then clogged pores on the cheeks. So the first thing I'm going to go in with is the foaming micellar cleanser and I'm just going to wet my skin and when I first used this the number one thing that I noticed is that it is so so gentle. It doesn't leave my skin feeling too tight or too dry which is what I look for in any cleanser. Although I have oily skin I still don't want to strip my skin of any oil. Um, it just leaves my skin feeling nice and clean without feeling too dry. And also the one thing that I love is that it is a foaming cleanser, obviously as the name suggests. And I don't know why, but I just love foaming cleansers. I feel like they really get deep into your skin. And I just like the fact that it foams everywhere because I feel like a little bit goes a long way. So I've just washed off the micellar foaming cleanser. So the next thing I'm gonna use is the pomegranate exfoliator facial scrub. So this actually has um, pomegranate seed powder. So actual pomegranate. Um, seeds within this exfoliator. So I'm going to pop that on. Firstly, I'm just going to wet the skin. Do two little squeezes like that. Um, I tend to use this kind of exfoliator every other week. And then in between that, I will use an acid exfoliator. And then another thing that I noticed, same as the cleanser, it is so, so gentle considering it's got like little um, seeds. Well, not seeds, sorry, seed powder. Um, it still feels gentle, like it doesn't feel like it's scratching my skin, which is what I like, so I won't use any sort of scrubs that feel too harsh on the skin. Okay, so I'm just gonna pat my skin dry, and the one thing that I've noticed, I mean, it's obviously taken off my fake tan a little bit, but my skin feels like crazy smooth. But I normally get like, you know, like those little blackheads like on my chin and they do feel less textured. And I, yeah, I think overall my skin just looks like super, super clean. And um, so the next thing to do is detoxify. So this is what they're mainly known for, which is their Australian pink clay mask. So I've already used this quite a few times because it is become one of my favorite masks. And this just basically helps to detoxify and purify the skin. So I do find that it really helps to unclog my pores um, and also around the chin as well. If I, sometimes I have like under the skin, like little pimples and I feel like it just helps to bring everything out. So one thing to note um, that I have noticed because I've used it a few times, you do kind of break out after it, but that is a good thing because it's just bringing everything out um, and then that way you don't have like those kind of under the skin spots. So I kind of mainly focus it on my problem areas which is my pores right on the cheeks and then kind of like around the mouth area as well. I don't tend to put it everywhere and then also kind of around my nose. So I'm going to leave it on for 10 minutes, let it dry. So it basically just says wash it off once it is dry. And the one thing that I do notice about this every time I use it, I can literally see it bring stuff out of my skin. So the last time I used it, it just kind of, like I said, brings everything out. And it did bring me up in like tiny little pimples, but that is normal. 
like I said, it's just bringing everything out. So I'm gonna wait for this to dry and then I'll be back once I've taken it off. So I've just wet the bamboo cloth and I'm just gonna very gently wipe the clay mask off. So the reason why I love that clay mask so much is I feel like it, obviously nothing like shrinks your pores, but I do feel like it kind of minimizes my pores and just makes them look like super, super clean. So I definitely recommend if you are acne, if you have acne prone skin, because it just helps to kind of get everything out. So I will use that like once a week to really kind of detoxify my skin. So other than the clay mask, the next thing that is probably my favorite out of all of the products, and that is the Vitamin C Supercharge Serum. So I absolutely love using hyaluronic acid in a lot of my serums. I just feel like they really hydrate the skin. So I did film a um, TikTok using this, which I've got it on this side, so you can see it already, how much of a glow it gives your skin. But yeah, I love obviously vitamin C because it just um, helps to brighten the skin. And then hyal hyaluronic acid helps to retain the moisture in your skin. So I love using this daily um, underneath the moisturizer. And it just helps to keep my skin hydrated all day. And as you can see, it just gives a, such a nice glow to the skin. But because I'm oily, it doesn't make me feel greasy at all. It sinks into the skin so quickly. And you can see it gets like tacky, so it doesn't leave like a weird like greasy film or anything. Of course, the next thing I'm going to talk about is the Australian Native Berries Moisturiser. So this is, um, this moisturiser I feel I only really wear when I don't have makeup on, only because I feel like it doesn't, it almost doesn't sit great underneath my foundation. It doesn't moisturise, moisturise me enough. Like obviously it leaves such a nice glow, but I tend to just wear it on days where I'm wearing no makeup. I just chuck this on because it kind of does the job. Love the smell of it, but I feel like it's not quite enough. Or it just doesn't really work underneath my base. I don't know why, but I do tend to feel like when I put foundation on top, it gets a little bit, you know when your skin doesn't look dry, but it kind of looks a little bit like crepey. I feel like it does that. And I don't have dry skin, so whether it just doesn't work with my foundation, but I feel like on its own, it just leaves a super nice glow and like the serum, it doesn't leave me feeling like greasy or anything. Okay, so that is all the products applied. So my skin feels super hydrated and really clean and ready for makeup. I just put like another layer of the moisturizer on to kind of, yeah, get that glow going. I definitely recommend if you're looking for a range that is just super gentle on the skin, as I said, the foaming cleanser and the exfoliator is just really lightweight and gentle, so it doesn't strip your skin, doesn't leave your skin feeling tight. And then obviously, as I said, the pink clay mask and the vitamin C supercharged serum are definitely my two favorites. These are something that I will 100% repurchase. And then as for the foaming cleanser, I absolutely love using this in the morning because as I said, I just feel like it really cleans my skin and I love the fact that it's foaming because I can just whack it on, get it all over my skin. So yeah, I really hope you found this helpful. I'll leave all details in the description box below. And I did forget to mention that they are all natural and 100% 100% vegan and cruelty free as well so if you're interested I'll leave their website and everything down below and also a link to where you a link and a website that's the same thing but yeah let me know if you want to see more skincare videos um I will definitely do like an in-depth one of my favorite products that help kind of acne prone skin because I have quite a few recommendations so if you want to know um, just give this video a thumbs up or leave me a comment in the comment box. <laughs> I'm out of breath. 
And also guys, as you can see by the title, I am giving away all of these products that I have used in this video to one lucky winner. So to enter, all you have to do is literally just subscribe and comment down below once you have done so and you will be entered into the giveaway. So yes, as I said, you will receive all of the products that I used in today's video, obviously brand new ones. Um, so yeah, if you wanna win a supercharged package from Alive Skin, then go ahead and enter. As I hit 12K subscribers, I thought I'd do a little giveaway just to say thank you. So yes, thank you to everyone who has subscribed and supported this channel. So yeah, go ahead and enter if you wanna try out Alive Skin. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.